The last time we were physically together in the showcase was actually two years ago. What's happened? Even though we've had a pandemic, collaboration with industry on industry-led challenges has really accelerated. More than half of our program now is industry-led challenges, doing things of real substance that will affect people's lives. Right at the very beginning, when we started the first phase of the quantum program, we knew that we wanted to do something in terms of challenge-led projects, and we bid as part of the challenge fund. But what we had to do is to demonstrate there was an appetite in the industry to do something. So the Wave 2 programs that I helped to put together were really proof of concept to demonstrate an appetite. Right, we launched the competitions, hugely oversubscribed, a real desire for industry to get involved. So even before we started to write the checks, we were planning on something much, much bigger. So what we have now is a program that's not led by a few theoretical physicists sitting in the university laboratory, but people with serious investment money who are looking closely at what the markets are gonna be for these devices on the world stage. And we are leading on them. There's such a broad range of things that are really exciting out, out there. Um, quantum computing is what a lot of people get the most excited by. Now, that's a long journey. Building a quantum computer is hard, but there are people making incredible advances out there. The one that I think stands out for me is the way that we can run algorithms, software, and so on. So for example, we have a company called River Lane. River Lane is expanding really rapidly, building operating systems for our new quantum computers that are emerging. So the next thing that excites me is that there are people building platforms where you can do stuff. You know, there's stuff working at low temperatures with superconductors, there are spin outs, but there are big companies like Oxford Instruments really seriously involved now, where we have the potential for building machines of real size that you can start running these algorithms on that people are, are really excited by. As well as that, there are people that are using completely novel ideas about how you build a quantum machine into a data center. So I, I, I saw two days ago, and they're here exhibiting stuff which looks rack mounted, just like stuff you see in the data center, but it's quantum enabled. Wonderful. If you look at the excitement out there, there are a lot of people producing components, things that go in the supply chain. They need to be integrated. So one of the big challenges is to provide demonstrators, prototypes for the big companies out there that are the system to say, you know, we can now work with this and, and look at a really big market. So BAE Systems, for example, Rolls-Royce, Airbus, BP, all of them are now present here looking to say, now's the time. We can actually start to explore what these new devices can do in our business. So the big challenge will be working with systems integrators. By the time this gets into a serious quantum engineering product, the kind of skills that you're gonna to need to make that all work really require mechanical engineering, electronics engineering, computer science graduates, physicists. It's really multidisciplinary. And, and of course, what we've been able to do in the UK is to build collaborations where expertise from the various sectors come together in this early stage and realize a product that without that collaboration, you couldn't actually do. If you look at quantum technology around the world, we've become extremely fashionable. I mean, there's almost like a virility symbol of governments to invest in quantum. So there are really very large scale programs around the world. We started five years before anybody else. So we've got our act together. That's the first thing. So McKinsey, two weeks ago, produced a, a report examining exactly how our standing was compared with the rest of the world. In terms of highly valued articles, in other words, if you like, the pipeline of good ideas, we're way ahead of everybody in the world. Of course, there's a lot of people out there as well. And so the competition from the United States, from Australia, from the European Union, 
uh, and from China is substantial. But on the science base, we're holding our own. We are the most effective science nation in quantum at the moment. NQTP is a kind of catalyst for engagement. It means that if you look at uh, each of the research councils, you look at Innovate, we have worked out what we want to do together, not working what we want to do separately and see if it fits with anything else. NQTP has been really a model of how to do stuff collaboratively. And of course, we're being emulated right around the world. The reason the White House people are here today is they're trying to find out what's our secret source. I'll try not to tell them.